uh, I thought he was stingy. Yeah. Then I thought his disability was going to be a disgrace to me. I thought he has not done a degree like I'm doing. I, I just knew for myself who you, I can't stay with him. This is not my type. So when I went back, this guy is stingy. I found another one. Yeah. You found another guy. Yeah, no, not really a guy. Yeah. So the, the guy I had gotten, Kumbe the guy was married and I didn't know. So there's this call that is he is being made all the time. Eh? And the call is written mom. So akichukua ni nani anaongea ne? His mom. It's mom. But it's the wife. It's the wife. <laughs> Lynn, it's the wife. Girls make a very big mistake mm. in judging people so mm. soon. Especially the early years of a man. Men develop very slowly. So if a woman expects a man to think as quickly as a woman is thinking, move things very fast, mm. then you may end up losing a person who, is, who has great potential. Marriage is not a scam. And uh, as we say, as people tell people that marriage is not a bed of roses, you may say it's not a bed of roses, and you say the roses, even roses have thorns, mm. but ask yourself, are you the thorn? Are you the one who is bringing the thorns into the marriage, mm. if it's not a bed of roses? A uh, very good morning to you and a warm welcome to LNS. My name is Lynn Googie. Now, if you are watching this, then you know we have a segment here because I wanted to bring you a couple of stories on marriage and show you why marriages work. My guest today has actually, she's not been through it all, but she has caused someone a bit of pain here and there. She openly admits to having been ashamed of her husband, having rejected him at first. So what made her fall in love with him again and he will also be joining us on this conversation and just talk to us from a man's perspective what is making their marriage work and sometimes how do they navigate through the hardships of life so that we can all be inspired. I'm about to let her introduce herself and as I said have her husband join us later on kwa show but before I do that I have to say thank you so much to our amazing partners at King's Development Developers Limited. I've been talking to you about King's Developers Limited for a while now and I've always said every one of us deserves a place to call home. So if you are looking for an apartment and you are looking to get it from a credible source, why don't you try our partners at King's Developers Limited? They have, you know, apartments that go with your budget. If you are looking for something in Yikoapa Chini, Hapa Katikati or even high end, you can always check them out or even visit them in their offices at Prism Towers in Upper Hill so that they are able to take you through the process. And of course, I have to say, I know we are going to close the year with 700k plus subscribers and we are just kidogo about to get to hit 700. So please, guys, if you are watching this without subscribing to our work, please, 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 you are doing a great disservice to our platform. Subscribe, share our content so that we we are able to continue impacting the world one story at a time and of course this is not the first time you're seeing this dress you know the plug elegance fashion as antenna sana for always coming through and now without further ado please allow me to let my guest introduce herself Malimu, good morning good morning how Philly. are you i'm fine thank you thank you so much first for making time thank you for having us i know it's not easy to wake up so early in the morning family kids we are talking here and you are kids are even upstairs waiting for mommy. I don't take that for granted. For a good Thank yes. you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling um, delighted to be here with you. Yes, yes. I appreciate it. Thank so you. maybe even before we can dig, uh, dig deep into the conversation, please mm -hmm. introduce yourself. I'm um, Susan Munene yeah. or Mrs. Mkubwa. I am a teacher. Um, brought up in a village yeah. in Nyandarua County yeah. and um, as any other children mm -hmm. I was brought up by my parents yes. not really in a rich family yeah. but then uh, we survived I went to primary school mm -hmm. at a school called uh, 
Kameda Primary School. Yeah. Si kupita vizuri. Yeah. Kameda. Yes, Why Kameda. do they give our schools this <laughs> name? You know, Kameda in Kikuyu is Katebo. Katebo. Why are we you calling know, the our... The reason why they called it Katebo eh. is because uh, inside uh, Abadea Forest, yes. there is a, a certain Kamlima eh. that looks like Katebo. Yes. And our school eh. is directly facing, facing. that Katebo. Katebo. Eh. So that's why they called it Kameda. Yeah. You know, they, sometimes they even call schools. <laughs> okay, Kama, yeah, then you are like, <laughs> Then you are there wondering. Why? Yeah, that's how they called it. I, you know, my school was called Magumu. Magumu? I saw you can even... <laughs> una, una face Magumu, but... Hey, teacher, the, <laughs> but why really? do they gotta name our schools these names, you know? Yeah, but anyway, so you Part go. of life. Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> Nika Maliza Kameda, I didn't really pass so well. Yeah. Because everyone expected I would pass. Nilikuwa index 2. Yes. Then I got, uh, I just got myself 260 marks. Yeah. I didn't really do well. Yeah. According to how everyone expected, si kufanya vizuri. Yes. But then, God helped me and I got, a, I didn't get invited to any secondary school. Mm -hmm. Because I had applied for those big, big schools. Yes. I was a dreamer from yes. then on. Eh? So I applied to those big, big schools. I was not invited. So my parents started looking for a private school for me. Yeah. So Wakapata, they found a private school in uh, in Nyahururu, yeah. Graceland Girls. Yeah. So from there, yeah. God blessed me, a Kanipatia, a B plane. Okay. And that's when I was invited to the university. Sasa, yeah. I was called to Chuka University. And I gladly went, applied to be mm -hmm. a, uh, to to study education. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ndiyo sasa nikaenda yeah. chuka university. Yeah. That was when now I will, no, yeah, when I went to chuka university, just immediately I joined, ndiyo sasa wali, walifanya zile elections, yes. ndiyo nikapatana na my other half. Your other, hey, yes. your other half. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. How did you meet? How was the first interaction and who smiled at who? Uh, the first interaction, yeah. mimi huwa si kumbuki vizuri sana, mm. he usually tells me we met, na nina, I can vividly remember yeah. that it's true we met. Yes. But mimi si kumuona vizuri. Yeah. He usually tells me aliniona and even going back home, mm. you truly end up, it was an IEBC yes. training. To lead to a training, mm. that, that time I was, I think I was 19 years. When we went there, that's when we met. Ju tulipata hiyo, tulipata hiyo kazi. Mm. So, going back home, aliniona, but me I didn't see him so well because yeah. I, I think my mind was far. Ju nimetoka shule, I've been yes. given a job and all that. Yeah. Sasa bada ndi walikuja kuniambia, that was actually where we met. Mm. So, kwenda kwa ground, that's where we now met Vizuri mm -hmm. because we are in the morning, I'm meeting him. We, usually, we used to to gather somewhere in the yeah, morning yeah. so that we can be given the materials, the yes. biometrics and all that to end it to, mm -hmm. to Sajili Watu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we used to do. Okay. Yeah. All right, then you started. How did the relationship start? Uh, we didn't really start a relationship mm. there. Sasa Yeye, he used to ask me for my number. No, he used to have a book where he recorded all the numbers of all the clerks. Yes. Osabu Yeye alikuwa charging clerks. Okay. Yeye, ujue haku wamefanya degree. Yeah. He had just done um, his, uh, what? what Diploma? P1 certificate. P1. Oh. Yes, he had done the P1 certificate. Mm. So, pale wakitu kuchukua, he, they didn't give him a good An job. An opportunity. Yes, they gave him just ile kuchaji. Mm. He was lucky though, kwa sababu kuna wengine, they didn't give, even get your ya kuchaji. With the certificate. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, he, he got the charging one. Yeah. Charging the batteries mm. for the, the kit. Mm -hmm. So, he used to take all the numbers for all the all the clerks, hapo ndi walitoa namba yangu. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Na hiyo wakati ya kutaniambia anything, but I used to see him saying hi to me every morning. Yes. yes? He is a social person. Yeah. So, alikuwa naniambia hi, hi. That was all. Yeah. Sasa kukuja, kurudi shule, when I went back to school, nikaona ka message. Mm -hmm. I saw a message on Facebook. Ha, kutumia ile namba. Yeah. Used a message on Facebook. Nikaona hi. How are you? Unajua ukitumua message na mtu kwa Facebook, you usually go to the profile, the profile. and check it out first. So I went to the profile and yeah. I saw, I didn't even know his name by the way. 
So I saw the name, but I didn't know who was, mm. that was. Mm. So I went to the profile, Nikaona. This is, I think it's the guy we were working with, yeah. the ABC job. Mm. Mm-hmm. And now from there, he told me, hi, hi. I told him, hi back. Then he invited me to visit. Yeah. His place. Yes. No, that time he had moved. Mm. God had blessed him. Akaacha ile kazi yenye alikuwa nafanya ushago. I think mm. he was being paid, I think, 4,000 or 6,000. Yes. Kufundisha a private Marie school mm. uh, around Kwetu. Mm. So he came to, to Nairobi. He got a job uh, yeah. at a school in Nairobi. Yes. Then now he invited me to come mm. visit him in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. That time, had just said anything. The guy has not told me anything like, will you I, be my girlfriend or I something? Like like, yeah, I like you, nothing. Yes. Just invitation. So, eh. Nikakata kwanza. Uh-huh. Then I decided after all, there's nothing. Let me just visit him. Mm. Nikakuja. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then when I visited, <laughs> when I visited, I asked myself, you know, I didn't, I didn't see him. He's, uh, he usually has a, a minor disability. Yes. Like his leg, yeah. a bit limps. Huh? Yes. Yes. So when we were working with him, I didn't see the limping because after all, he's not my man. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Why but should when, I? Why should he? It doesn't bother me. Mm. But sasa wakati, when I came to Nairobi visiting him, njyo sasa nini realize vizuri, I think he is limping. Mm. Sasa hapo njyo niliona vizuri he is limping. Mm. Eh? Unaona ile utoto? Yeah. I was just 19 years. Eh? So I, I, I just knew for myself who you, I can't stay with him. This is not my type. Lean, we stayed with him. The next morning, very early in the morning, I was I was I was, <laughs> imagine I decided to do his laundry. His house was so dirty. Hey, to do this, <laughs> you man. So sad story, na. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guy, so sad. Who that you are, Akisha? He invited you. Yes. You, so you did not visit him in the school he was working. No. You visited him at his at house. his house. Then you are looking at this guy, he's limping and you are like, I am I not can't. sure this is what I want with my life. Uh-huh. Then you sleep over. Yes. So you guys, you are sleeping moja kwa kitanda mungine kwa No, kitanda. in the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing. <laughs> yes. Evil. Lean, we slept. And nothing. Just, he is uh, this guy who doesn't like... Um, what do I say? In in kuji in boundaries, crossing boundaries. Yes. Yes. Ukimwambia ni hivi, ni hivi. He will try his best. But lakin if you insist, he will not force it. Not forcing. Eh. Yes. So I insisted and he decided it's okay. Then sleep. In the morning. In the morning. Ukamua. He went to work. Eh. He went to work. And I had told him I'm leaving. Eh. But I niambia, because I'm having some parent who wants me to teach their their kid very early in the morning at their house. Yes. niende. Then when I come back, you leave. I'll I'll take you to town. Yes. Nita kwambia your story venye he didn't ever let me go to town on my own. Sijui kama alikuwa anaona nitaenda kwa mtu mwingine ama nini. So he had to come and take me to to town so that I can get Ken Silva. Ken mm. Silva ni zile za kwenda Meru. Yes. So in the morning, he went. He left me in the house. I got so bored. Then I decided, let me do the laundry. Then I washed the house. I washed the viombos. They were so dirty. I washed the laundry. Then, in the evening, he comes. Not in the evening. Mm-hmm. At allow, around uh, lunch hour, mm-hmm. he comes and finds I have done the laundry. Yes. And he's so happy. He thinks this girl has accepted me, eh? Of course. Of course, kama umefanya laundry, isn't it? So, he gave me the fare. He took me to Ken Silva. Yeah. I boarded a bus back to Meru. Uh-huh. Nothing from there. We never talked again. Oh. I had decided I'm not going back to that guy. Okay. Yeah, I was not going to go back to that guy. God brings back the one he wants for you. Because 
I went, mm, I thought, first of all, I thought the guy was stingy. Uh-huh. Alipea fia kidogo. Alipea But I had, I, 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 okay, let me, I'll get there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there. So, um, he gave me, uh, uh, I thought he was stingy. Yeah. Then, I thought his disability was going to be a disgrace to me. That time. That time. I don't think the same right now because yeah. I don't think the same. Then, uh, I thought he has not done a degree like I'm doing. But Lynn, Kumbe, that time when we did the registration ya EBC, yeah. wakati ya likuja Nairobi akapata kazi na mlipa vizuri, he had already joined Mount Kenya University. Yeah. So, so you, were just, you were just ashamed. Yes. He had joined and he was he was in first year mm. when I came to mm. visit him now. Mm. So when I went back, this guy is stingy. I found another one. Yeah? You found another guy. Yeah, no, not really a guy. Yeah. It was like a baba. Lean. <laughs> Because he was way older than me. Niki yes. like, I used to usually ask him, why didn't my friends, when you naniambia, Lynn could have told me about this. Yes. Why didn't my friends tell me that this guy is way older than me? Because, you didn't see his ID. <laughs> the guy was, I think, I was, I was 19. Yeah. So I was around 20 there. Yes. Niki, niki pata uyo. Mm-hmm. Niki pata uyo yeah. sasa. And he was at around, I think, 40. Yes. He was way older than me. Like in one or two, they are shaving the whole head. Yes. You can't tell his age. Uh, and then he used to hide his ID. You couldn't mm. see the ID. Ukimuliza mea kana kwambia, niko tu hapo that. Niko hapo that. Yes. Lin wacha ni kwambia. The character development yenye nilichapwa. Yeah. Yeah. I sat down and thought did i make the right decision this guy has hajanikos hair this guy has a very nice heart if you stay with him you you're going to tell yeah. he has a good heart mm-hmm. what am i looking for is it the money or is it the husband who can who can understand me or we can understand each other and build together yes so the the guy i had gotten kumbe the guy was married and I didn't know. So there's this call that is he is being made all the time. Eh? And the call is written, mom. So akichukua ni nani anongia ne? His mom. It's mom. But it's the wife. It's the wife. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, it's the wife. So the he phone is saved, calling. He has saved his wife as mom. Mom. On the phone. Yes. So you think when he's talking, he's talking to the, to the mom. mom. And I was very okay. Ay, he, and this he, guy loves the mom. So he will love me too the way he yes. loves the mom. Yes. Oh my God. I, I, I usually <laughs> tell him the story and I tell him. There was a time that came. I was thinking, I was telling him. See, one day you'll move to Chuka. We live with you. Because I thought this is the guy. Yes. The other one for Nairobi, yeah. that's not the guy. Yeah. So what I need to one day he was drunk. We were somewhere at a club. Unajua yeah. in campus, you drink. You drink. So we were somewhere at a club, and the guy was uh, called. Yeah, was called by mom. Then he picked the call, and the call was a bit weird yeah. because he was asking mom about school fees yam toto the mom was asking about school fees yam yes. toto and was asking about books zam toto okay. then i was asking him when your mom has a small kid at your age your mom has a small kid then he's telling me no 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 he's telling me about my sister's kids then i asked him so you're the one who buys even petty books for, for your, your sister's, sister's kids. kids. You know, Lynn, you can buy things for your sister's kids. Yes, but, but not, not really to, those to small, small nitty gritties. No, no. That was a red flag. Eh? The next time we met, I thought, ah, it's okay. Yeah. The next time we met, he was drunk and now he called a, a waitress who was selling clothes, kids' clothes. 
akasema this one looks good on my son he didn't know what he was saying because he was drunk akachukua kasweta then he said this one would look good on my son he was not even thinking that i was there he was selling the mama these warriors who go around yes. selling this yes. then i asked him so you have a son akaruka he said no 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 i don't have anyone i don't lean now what happened so that i could leave him kabisa kabisa was being called by someone telling me i am his i am her, uh, his wife wow. that was the end hey. my two years of wasted. campus wasted Hoy. and are you even remembering the other one Ah, you when you are with him. Mm. Ah no, no no, I was not thinking about him. Hey. When we were with this one, yes. I was not thinking about him because this one is pampering me with money and all that soft life. Soft life, eh? Huh? Hmm. Little did I know the character development that was awaiting me. Sasa then I I nini? I stayed without anyone yes. at that time. When I was done with campus yes. when i was done with campus yeah. that's when now i i decided this guy hakunikosea he didn't do anything to me so i decided to text him on facebook again because i had even deleted his number oi kai yeah i deleted the number mm. so i decided to text him again yeah. on facebook now this time it's mm. me who texted i told him hello you know as a lady you can't tell him uh, I want to come back. No. You have to say hello so that he can tell you to come back himself. Eh? So Mbaba is gone. <laughs> Mbaba is gone. You are dealing with your broken heart? Yes. <laughs> you found him. He has a wife? He has a wife. And now you are on Facebook again. Yes. Talking to the, to, to your... the same guy I said is not my type. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. Life has a way. Life has a way. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So can you mail your Facebook? Facebook again. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> he was there telling me. Hi, umepotea? I think he was also waiting for my message. <laughs> Hi, umepotea sana. That time he had even uh, now moved the places where he was staying. Mm. It's not the same place he was staying. Yeah. He had moved places yes. and even moved jobs. Huh? So he told me hi umepotea sana that time I was finishing campus yeah. so I had gone to Shago to do some teaching jobs this is a private yes. kama yenye pia yeye alikuwa anafanya nikim okay, nikimit so I was it was me now in Shago yeah. doing the job so I was texting him he was telling me umepotea sana will you come visit me ni kama nilikuwa nangoja I was just waiting for that time you tell me will you come visit me uh-huh. and i decided to do to visit uh-huh. so when i visited uh-huh. i had things got heated because right <laughs> now umemaliza shule you are the one who texted me back it means unanitaka yes so he told me all he wanted <laughs> nini nini that time he was uh, 29 years yes so t- at 29 he was thinking mm. i think i i, I can i down. can settle down So I decided to stay. I decided to visit him. Mm. I stayed with him and uh, that was it. Eh. So I went back to Shago like three times coming back, three times coming back. Eh. Finally I stayed. You stayed. Yes. Finally you saw the goodness in him. Yes. In fact I had seen the goodness before I came back. Yes. Before I texted him. Nilikuwa nimefanya hesabu nikaona that guy hakunikosea mahali. His heart is very mm. clean. Mm. Let me just go back to him. Mm. Sioni nikipata mwingine kama yeye. So I went back to him. Mhm. Ukaanza usafi tena. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> usafi nilifanya. Hata <laughs> hivyo ladies are when they say that you can't wash. Eh, hey, I did. I think sikuwa nimechanuka sana. Yeah. I did the laundry. Yeah. Yeah. And you 
God, it's, you know, it's so interesting because you mentioned of how ashamed you are of him yes, yes. and you did not want to deal with the fact he has this minor disability. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want people to look at you mm -hmm. less because you are with him, because mm -hmm. you already think less of mm -hmm. him. He, you had a, you were doing a degree first mm -hmm. before him. Mm -hmm. What made you now come to terms with the fact mm -hmm. I don't have to look at all those things? Mm -hmm. What is love for me? What mm -hmm. made you fall for him really? Away from the fact that your heart had been broken, what was it about him that you said? Because you have now three kids together, right? We have. You've been together for almost 10 years now? Yes. Yeah, so what made you say, God, this is the man. Uh, I think I was asking myself, what do I want in a man? Is it the money or is it the job? Is it the degree or is it the heart and what the man can, how the man can treat me? Mm -hmm. In all the relationship I had, I didn't have anyone treating me as well as he did. So I think I, I, I went back to him because I thought he would treat me right. Mm. His heart, his personality is for me, yes. his personality is on another level. Mm. I didn't find someone who has such a personality, yeah. a clean heart, so kind. Yeah. Not anyone who would hurt you uh, intentionally. Mm. You see? Yeah. So that's what made me go back to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the stingy part. Ah, the stingy. Hey, honey. You are stingy. Yes. Hey. He was really stingy. <laughs> hey. The guy is taking you to Nairobi, anakupandisha Ken Silva, na anakupea thau, and they can, <laughs> they can, he never sent me, he never sent, he will come here and say whether he I said, am lying, yes. he never sent me fair. Yeah. You see the way guys wanatumia mtu fair sijui ya tiukule, he never, <laughs> he never sent me the fair, but he used to, nikikuja, he will give me yeah. the fair going mm. back, mm -hmm. na ile enye nilikuja na mm. Yeah, so akinipea hiyo thau, it means sinilikuja na 500. Yes. Na narudi na 500. Yes. So I've gotten nothing for myself there. Na unona ukiwa campus, you want to get yourself something on top of the fair. Yeah. Yeah. Hakuna. Hakuna, yeah. nothing. But so I felt he was stingy. You felt, is he now? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Lin, wacha ni kwambie. I usually tell my friends, kwa sababu kuna those friends of mine, yeah. where I work, there are some ladies who are not married. Yes. Or where I have ever worked, not yeah. really right now. So you, they used to tell me, hey, how did you get yourself a husband who has a car? See, he pampers you with money. And I'm there telling them, I was not sent fair even a single day. But right now, if I ask him even for his ATM, I, I, I get some money for myself. He will give me. Mm. Don't be deceived by that fear. First, yes, that fair or that first person you meet who is deceiving you with the money. He may give you the money right now, but in future he will never give you nothing. Yes. Or he will just give you stress, mm. if anything. Mm. So I think I usually tell girls, don't look at what he's giving you right now. Look at his, at his potential and look at his heart. Is he, does he look like he is going to be mm. toxic? Mm. Kama unaona, kuna signs, kuna signs Talk, just yeah. leave it. Mm. Yeah. But where do you think women will go wrong, you know, especially during those younger years? Mm. Because for you to have left him and went to Ambaba, there has to be something mm. you are looking for. Looking back right now, what would you tell your younger self? I'll tell my younger self, stop being materialistic. Because most of the time we are materialistic. We, we really concentrate on material things and not the potential of a person. Mm. Mimi siambi mschana, mm. aende kwa mtu anaona they will not do good life with yes. you. But then look at the potential of that person. Mm. And as a kuwa sahi, hana kitu. But you can see this person is trying. Mm -hmm. In future, ataku, mm. atakuwa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you deal with now that minor disability? Do you think it's a big deal to you? No, 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 never. In fact, for me, it's a great, it's something that brings grace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, I have never, in fact, when I went back to him, I stayed even for a year without asking him, what happened to your leg? Yeah, why are you not, you have never asked me what happened to my mm -hmm. leg. Sasa ndionika, nika just tell me. Yes. 
I never took it even today. Mm. I never take it as, as he has anything. Mm. In fact, I forget. Yeah. I remember only the time when he tells me my shoe has worn out on this side mm. because I'm stepping on, on on the side. Yes. Yeah. That, that's when you That's remember. when I remember. Um, yes. Yeah, talk, talk, talk to me about parenting because I know you work for Yes, he's yes, the yes, one yes. who da takes care of the kids. So sure. talk to me about that part before I let him come. So when I, I finished, mm. I graduated, of course. Then we, we moved in, yes. in Nairobi. Yeah. Then we stayed for like uh, six years. I didn't get a job. I got a private job. Mm. And as every person who is studying education, yeah. they want to be employed by the government. government. So I didn't get a government job in Nairobi. So where I got is Moraga. I went to Moraga with my kids, of course. So getting to Moraga with my kids, I realized the place, the environment is affecting my kids, mm. especially the firstborn. Mm. She has a mild asthma. Mm. So she was only six years then. Eh? So I decided to, to uh, okay, he decided let me just get back the kids mm. and see whether the environment is the one that is affecting them. Mm -hmm. So he took back the kids. They stayed with them for like a week, two. Then he decided, no, let me them just go back to the school they were in. Mm. Na even dio, he stayed with the kids. Yes. Mm. That time, the nanny I, I had gone with to Moranga mm. did not uh, uh, come back to Nairobi. Yeah. So he came back alone with the kids. So he's the one to cook for the kids, wash the dishes, mm. wash the kids when they are going to school. Remember, we don't have a nanny at that time. Mm. So he's the one who is taking the small one. That time, the small one was two and a half years. Yeah. Taking him to daycare, yes. getting him in the evening and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you got yourself an amazing man? I think I get, got myself more than an amazing man. Yes. Because not many would do that. Mm. Yeah. More than amazing. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Because uh, I remember even when I, I was in Muranga, my friends were asking me, Well, una relax to Hapa and your husband is washing your kids. You know, deep down in your heart, you, you feel, I think I would be comfortable having my kids with me, but now I don't have otherwise. Then he is the parent also. He was also a parent. That's an African mentality we have mm -hmm. that the man is the only one who can wash the kids. The woman is the oh, only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The woman is the only one who can wash the kids, mm -hmm. who can cook for the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In other countries or in other places, you find the man can also help with the kids mm -hmm. when the woman is working. is working. Even when the man is staying even at home. Mm -hmm. Let alone for him, yes. he was working and coming to yeah. take care of the kids. Mm. Kuna wengine, they can stay at home and the woman is working. Mm. Yeah. Okay, it's, a, it's an African It's toxic mas uh, it's masculinity. masculinity not yeah. to be able to do that. Yes. But you've told us a version of that uh, story, so I'm just going to invite him. It's important PIA to join so he can tell us. One, two, three. Sir, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uko salama? Kabisa. Ebu tell them your name. Um, I'm Michael Munena Waititu. Yeah. Uh, father. Yes. And a husband. Yeah. Yes. To this incredible woman. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> well, ukimskia akiongea, what was going through your mind? Mm, I was just thinking of that journey. Yeah. It has been a journey. And especially the last one and a half years. Yes. When we, she was working far. Yeah. And uh, I had to be with the kids. Yeah. It has been a journey yeah. and we thank God that yes. we have managed so far yeah. and we will continue because it does not mean that right now she has stopped working far. Yes. She is still working in Moranga. So yeah. it's only right now that we have a small kid so she is out for 
her leave. Yes. So when uh, the leave is over, she will go back. She'll go back. Eh, yeah. Sasa yeye ametuambia version yake. Mm, Mimi nataka tu ni umesikia. Wewe <laughs> 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 ulipoenda yeah. ukapata nyumba imeoshwa. Yeah. Umefuliwa mpaka manguo. Yeah. Unaona venye <laughs> Come back to us. <laughs> when you lifato umefuliwa mpaka nguo. Uh, what was going through your mind? Now, Uli feel aje? Ni feel uh, this is uh, the woman to take as a wife. Hey. Because uh, as she is saying, mm. I think uh, the whole room was everywhere. There was clothes everywhere, the utensils, I think. Because she, was on a, she came on a Friday. Yeah. So the Saturday is when she did all of that. Yeah. So comparing the uh, utensils that we are there you see men uh, at times tunatumia sufuria moja mandi unasema hiyo nitarusha kesho so <laughs> so the we are munarusha uh, vitu <laughs> and by then she forgot that i was hosting my cousin yes so we were two gentlemen in that house yeah so uh, i think it, we had made the house a mess. a mess so when i came back eh. wow it was looking sparkless it was sparkless eh? it was very clean yeah. pale facebook mm. ukienda kumchokoza mm. ulikuwa umeona nini kwake uh, from the word go she said uh, the first time i set her eh. my eyes on her eh. it was when we were working at the ibc yes so the way she while well, was carrying her silver roll mm. then it was uh, sending a strong message this is a good girl eh. and uh, so but by then there was the, the issue of uh, i was feeling i think a, a bit inferior because of the she is a university girl ni kotu hapa nimetoka tu so i think i was seeing her to have very high standards yes then you see gewaza ku match by then mm. So but I had seen a very good lady there. Yeah. So that's why I kept on trying to see. Yeah. You see when I was sending those messages yeah. I just try to see whether she can come down to my level. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so and uh, it went on wakati mwingine you said message three days it is not yet <laughs> responded. Yeah. So yeah. that is what you, blue tea. Yeah. yeah. So we went through that. Yes paka sasa wakati alimaliza shule yeah. so then that's when we kicked to the conversation aka, back again akakurudia aka yeah. okay sasa wakati huo nikiwa na nimetoka ushago eh, eh. mm. so now you laugh at the mbaba story eh, eh. we talk about it yes. <laughs> you know everybody got their past so that yeah. is my past story so uh, we talk about it we yeah. have it out yeah yeah okay mm. w- what makes your marriage work ukimwangalia na ujiangalie mm. what is it about first do you believe marriage works uh, very much because uh, ours have worked yeah. for now close to 10 years yes and um, it has been uh, a journey that has its up and down mm. A marriage you cannot expect it to be smooth mm. but by god's grace we always and then keeping on talking to each other mm. you understand each other everybody's strengths and weaknesses yes. you manage them out mm. you understand each other yeah. and uh, most of them uh, the most important thing is communication yes. in marriage uh-huh. yeah oh. when you have a good communication system yes. in the house you will be able to maneuver and you can stay for many years for many years yeah. what do you love about her uh, number one, she is very assertive yeah. so this is ready when she says that can we focus on this she will not be so moved it, or said mm-hmm. very easily mm-hmm. she is a person when she decides to follow on something yeah uh, you follow that and you, it is a thing that has helped us even to grow yes because when she, she came and we moved in together i was uh, living on debt i was earning and i was earning not very small money by then i had moved to a better school yes so i was always finding myself taking a bank of a draft before the end of the month yeah but when we moved in she told me now this has to stop mm-hmm. And uh, we um, stopped and uh, we managed our finances and we were able to even acquire a piece of land together. Together. Mm. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. What else? So again, uh, she is also loving yeah. and she is a very good parent also. Oh. <laughs> she is a good mother to our children. Uh, yeah, despite the fact that she will be very far. Yeah. 
everything she is always on point on what is happening she call me very early in the morning before even i wake up ask me hey how are you how was the night which clothes are you wearing mm. what are you dressing the Aww. children today so every part of the wife and of the mother yes. she will always be on point okay mm. so she is assertive yeah. she is loving yeah. she is a good, good. parent yes. one you remember <laughs> 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 she is also very beautiful uh-huh. that is true yes. and uh, her teeth also <laughs> her smile mm. Mm. no 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 she is also very uh, her smile yes, yes. but when you met wambia you know mm. we make a lot of mistakes about love yes. tunaangalia sometimes material things mm. which is okay cuz pia lazima ukikuwa na mtu ujue tunaenda wapi yes. you know but what from a man's perspective unaona ni makosa gani tunafanyanga when it comes to love mm. na haraka zetu za maisha uh, mostly i think girls make a very big mistake mm. in judging people so mm. soon mm. especially the early years of a man because men I think we because we are also teachers we learn a lot of psychology mm. men develop very slowly so if a woman expect a man to think as quickly as a woman is thinking move things very fast mm. then you may end up losing a person who is who has great potential mm. and uh, focusing on material or even their appearance at the six pack things you can develop and all that can have some to yeah. develop at yeah. all now at the six pack kitabi tunaweza wake yeah kitabi tunaweza wake na that appearance the only thing that you can do pesa hakuna pesa ndio tu but they mm-hmm. say that a man mm-hmm. who is rich is beautiful no he is yeah. handsome Yeah at least unajua pesa yes yes uosha mtu lakini it is something that you can uh, what, what work on wana semanga mm. we are all beautiful and handsome ni pesa bado watu wa pesa pesa ni sabuni ya maisha ni hata huyo jamaa unaona tu as long as this person has focus in life no again you can uh, look at a person and he is not focused in yes, life yes. if a person is focused yeah. then that person is a person you can grow together mm. Mm. Okay. so now this story our baba it is uh, again a message to our girls mm. because um, maybe he was very keen to observe those red flags mm. but there are those who assume they see but they say ah Sibora na inakuja. Mm. So if you are not keen to observe those things as you progress, mm. you may end up losing a lot of uh, your time and even losing your life. Mm. Girls are losing their lives right because of kukua na wababa. Yeah. Mm. Eh, Susan, mm. what do you want to say about that especially since ilikupata ukiwa campus? um tundi ya ku notice cuz you know sometimes i wonder how are wababas so strategic mm-hmm. they know where to go they know who to manipulate mm-hmm. of course i can't say it's a shared blame cuz pm sichana see ati hauna akili but to, how, how do you think they operate and what advice do you have for young girls wababas they know what girls want they know you want money so at first they'll pamper you with the money before now they come with what they want mm. so what i will tell girls don't look at that that money you're being pampered with yes. that time yes. think about your future mm. do you have a future with this person if there's no future if you think there's no future with this person just call it quit mm. just call it quit get a person and now wale wanasema ati oh okay this this girl i told The, yeah I was telling you earlier yes, yeah. there's this girl like, who was telling me how do you get a, yourself someone who has a car has a house and all that and I was telling her no I didn't get him with the car in fact mahali alikuwa naishi he had a car stove mm. ile unapika then the whole house inanuka mushi inanuka hiyo mm. mushi ya stove mm. that's where I found him and I still went back to him even after knowing that he had that castle mm. so it's not about what someone has it's about what potential they have mm. mkiongea na yeye what do you hear him say 
does he say that I want to go back to school? Does he say that I, I want to start this business so that I can do? Do you think he has a goals potential? Goals yake ni Yes, does he have goals? Vision yake ni Yes, does he have a vision? Mm. Yes. yes. Okay. So this girl, mm. ni kamombia, don't look for that car. And then he, she was telling, she was there telling me, eh, when ni venye ukona mtu wako na gari, so you don't need to get myself someone with a, with a car. But it's not the case. Mm. It's no see. You want it together. Together. Build together. Yes. yes. But you keep them to a corner on them pendane. I'm not saying you see usiende mm. just go mm. but if this person has a potential na mmependana usimwache juu hana mm. but yes. kuna wenye wanasemanga si sasa mmeshikana mmebuild yes, yes. halafu mta build then yeye yeah, ataona yeah, yeah. that's also another thing <laughs> yeah. that, that that's a contemporary issue that's yes. coming up right now yeah mnajenga na mtu alafu after that Ana, anaku anaenda anakuwa anaharibu kila kitu na mume grow na yeye mm. eh. so ladies today are saying i can't grow with someone Alafu tukisha grow anaenda na mtu mwingine. Mm. Be wise. All our title deeds are written in our both names. Together. <laughs> I am the car. Because we cannot write a car in, in uh, both names. Both names. Eh. The car is in my name. Hi, because please. I have three kids. Yes. Lynn, I have three kids. Oh, so who is carrying more weight? Wait. Eh. What do you think about that? In fact, uh, the issue of the car, I, mm. I decided now he is not because the first that. car we bought and it was under my name. Yes. So I felt when we sold that, uh, why can't I at least also have her uh, own a car? Yes. So the second one I told her now, look here, let me yes. just write this under your name. Uh, it will be a, also a good thing that you also feel yes. that these are things that I trust you have yes. so much. Yeah. So why do we need to have an issue? Yeah. As long as we are using it together mm. and uh, there is no contentions about um, who is holding the car, who is driving the car today, mm. no. Yeah. Mm. But why do you think most ladies are scared of building with a man? Because as she said, yes. it's a thing. Mm. But the ladies right now are saying, where is Jenga na mwana ume? Because yeah. <laughs> the issue, muna Jenga, then yeah. akaende yeah. aka 20 year old, mm. si uyo mbaba. Mm. Si ye wali Jenga na mtu, yeah. then aka mkujia yeah, pahali. Yeah, yeah. So why, why do you think men do that? And mm. should a ladies justified to be scared about it? Yes, it is a cause of fear because you cannot just sit down and watch your work that you have something that you have worked for so for so many years go to waste. Mm. But again, I think there is an issue of also men not being so much focused on what they want. In terms of to grow, people who were young, twenties, thirties, hata kwa kraba hawage. Mm. You, there are those pubs zenye ulikuwa unakuta hizo zinajulikana ni za wazee mm. sasa vijana kuna ile moja labda kwa mtaa yes. unaweza kupata the 30s the man, men in 30s mm. but nowadays wanaume wa 50 years unawapata tu kwa club zenye those girls are almost naked mm. and i think that is also what is exposing men to kuwa mm. reckless mm wakiona huyo msichana venye amevaa wanaona huyu ametoka college ama ame ni mtoto wa shule they know what she needs pesa tu so wakimuonyesha tu pesa tu then wanaenda na yeye so it, now you destroy your family because of hii raha ya tu ya siku moja unaona ah, labda if the, like for example the way i'm saying my wife is assertive so unaona ah huyu ni mimi namwambia kila kitu this one we have to negotiate. So, unaona? Those, the, uh, uyu na, nikimpea <laughs> order anafuata. Yeah, Do so. this, move. La, lakini uyu atakuliza ata maswali. Ata you don't, want, you don't you want to be asked yeah. the why. Yeah. Na, uh, the issue of again accountability. Yes. Wanaume anataka kuwa pesa yake inakaa kwa mfuko yake. Mm. Ataki kuulizwa unapata pesa gapi. Mm. Again, that is also, you see those girls, they will fear. Mzee hawata muuliza ati pesa unapata gapi eh. which you, how did you get this lakini bibi atakuuliza bibi lazima atakuuliza na utakuuliza <laughs> so, so those are the things i think yeah. about men okay. are I love that observation. Mm. They, yeah. yeah, yeah. But again, even before we wind up, some people are also giving up on marriage. 
you know there are so many things happening and some people would be like i don't even want to get married marriage is a scam and they have their own reasons right mm -hmm. but sitting where you are sitting what would you say about marriage uh, according to me mm -hmm. i would say that marriage is one of the best thing it is ordained by god and we, people should do it try all the means possible yes not unless it is an abusive marriage if it is the normal disagreements at home yeah, or yeah. those ones are things that people can sort out yes don't be so quick to act and say i'm leaving to do what mm. so sit down that just as the bible says if you cannot be able to agree settle that dispute with the elders mm. If it is not something that is grievous, you see, there are so, those things that you cannot even sit to discuss. Mm. But if it is not an issue of infidelity or violence, mm. those are th the other things you can uh, just yes. talk about mm -hmm. them, and uh, mm. you save your marriage. You save, huh? yeah, yeah, Susan. Yeah, I want to say, especially to the young girls or the ladies of uh, my age who are married, I want to tell them marriage is not a scam. And uh, as we say, as people tell people that marriage is not a bed of roses, I want to leave them with one word. Mm. You may say it's not a bed of roses, and you say the roses, even roses have thorns, mm. but ask yourself, are you the thorn? Are you the one who is bringing the thorns into the marriage, mm. if it's not a bed of roses? Are you the one who is bringing the pain into the marriage? Are you the one who is not listening to your partner? Are you the one who is not sitting down and talking with your partner? So every time there is a disagreement, people should sit down, talk as grown-ups. Don't escalate things. Mm. But if it's about violence and, uh, like he said, mm. violence and infidelity, mm. those are things that uh, they do not, uh, they do not, you do not need to sit there and wait mm. for yourself to die there. Mm. Yes. Don't sit and die. Yes. There's always something we do on the show. <laughs> so yes. Anza na wewe. Yes. You can look at him before. Eh, eh. <laughs> you can look at him yeah, and just tell him something and then he will do the same. Mike, my love, I want to tell you that I love you so much. I want to thank you for taking care of my kids when I'm away. Not many men can do that. In our society, you know, they can say you have been sat on but i know you have you have not listened to that maybe you have ever been told that but you have not let yourself listen listen to that so i love you so much and i do not care what people say about you you are what i want for myself right now and in the future thank you thank you Aww, <laughs> <Mike>. <laughs> it's your turn your yeah. turn mike yeah. yes Susan. Uh, thank you so much for being my love. Thank you for loving me. Despite the, the physical disability you have never complained about, neither have you felt no, made me feel inferior. And uh, I love you so, so much. Also, your character, your strong personality, I love it. And thank you so much for being a good wife and a good mother to my children. Love you so much. Yes. <laughs> but thank you so much, mm -hmm. even for blessing us. Yeah. I think when people watch this, uh, mm -hmm. they also feel positive way yeah. about marriage. Mm -hmm. And I just love what you've said. I know it's not a bed of roses. It has thorns. But ask yourself, are you the thorn? Are you the pain? Yeah. Are you the vice mm -hmm. in your relationship? Yeah, yeah that's good. But because uh, I know parenting from a distance is not easy. I know you are a government teacher. Yes. Uh, so I, I, don't, I don't know whether it's the right question to ask, but wouldn't there be a system that brings you close to your family and your kids? Or are those options that you guys have tried? Or Because I feel like for a mom, and they are, we have so many government schools around, even in Nairobi, I, may, may you could educate me. I, I don't yeah. know how the system <laughs> yeah, works, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Good question there. Mm. In fact, I wanted to tell you, I forgot to tell you when I moved there, yeah. I de we decided to move into all the offices because you can be given a transfer. Yes. You can get a transfer to 
Nairobi. Close to Nairobi. Mm. To Nairobi or close, or to, close to Nairobi home. like Kiambu. Yeah. Yeah. So you can be able to commute and all that. Mm. But then it's usually a very rigid system. Mm. Before you're given that transfer, yeah. you will tarmac. You will tarmac. In mm. fact, there's a time we contemplated me quitting. But then we decided it's not uh, going it's to not be a good a, thing a, to quit a job. And you love your job. So why yes, would yes, you yes, quit? yes. Yeah. It may affect yourself yeah. so much. Mm. According to TSC, mm. they say that when you are posted as a new teacher, immediately after employment, mm. you are supposed to stay in your station for at least five years before they transfer you, mm. regardless of uh, any other thing. So that is, the, I think, the cross that has been a great challenge to us because, mm. number one, also she forgot not only the kids who were affected by the weather. She also became asthmatic. She Now, when it goes back there, she must carry her inhaler. But we tried even on the medical grounds because that one is a provision that mm. is, can be given. Mm. But it still did not work. Mm, yeah. We have been from, uh, told to go to the headquarters in Nairobi. We have gone there two yeah. times. We are told, no, the only people who can help you are the people in Munanga. Mm. So it has been a back and forth. We have been trying all through the yeah. uh, whole of the uh, last year. Yeah. And also the part of this year. But yeah. We no, hope that God keep, will yeah keep make trying because yeah. I, I I believe systems are there for a reason yeah but I also don't believe uh, it's healthy for a family and its foundation yeah. maybe for a mom to be so far away from the kids you mm. can even hear your kid crying yeah. <laughs> upstairs so, I, so that's me let saying I have to let you go because yeah. I know you have a newborn mm. but I hope someone from the teacher service commission yeah. is even watching because mm. I believe this is something that can just be a call away mm. and maybe it's something we need also to feature and talk about mm. so that we are able also to maintain that family system mm. with oh god she's it's a he or she it's a he <laughs> congratulations <laughs> I, I can and i'm scared so i have to let susan go but uh before i let you go and even take care of your kid maybe if anyone from the they've not asked me to do this but if anyone from the teacher service commission is watching and you are able to do something to be able to make sure this family i just think that's the right thing to do honestly and that if there are systems we need to work on so that we are able to have a strong family foundation i believe that we respect the structures you have in place but i also think you can look at a case by case and see if they because i don't i cannot imagine mm -hmm. her raising her kids in between nairobi and morang and it's not easy jobs in this country are not easy so if we have anyone from the teacher service commission watching and you are able to do something about it maybe you can give your email or your contact details which is easier for you uh, yeah i will give my number okay yes. you are comfortable with that yes okay you can give it out my number is zero seven yeah. two seven yeah. two nine nine seven nine three okay yeah anyone who is willing to help mm. yeah no i believe by the time this airs a couple of days after or even a week someone no it's on it's the only fair thing to do eh? mm. but for me just to say thank you for gracing us with your story i would love to just see more of these stories being highlighted so that we can also show our people that marriages are beautiful yes. and you can take a chance on each other mm. and marriages do work eh? mm. But before I close, anything you want to add, maybe, any of you? I wanted to say, mm. if you would ask your people to yes. come to our channel and subscribe. You have a channel? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Why did you not say so earlier? What are you doing there? Mr. and Mrs. Mkuba. Yes. Just normal family life. Okay. And all that, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Mkuba. Okay, yeah. it's already here on the screen. My people, you know how we do it. Huh? <laughs> Go subscribe to this lovely people's channel and show them lots of love. Mike, you want to add anything? Uh, thank you so much for having us. Yes. And we are happy to also grow together. Yes. Yes. Asante Nisana. I appreciate you for coming and I hope you can call me soon with some good news from the Teacher Service Commission.
soon, we'll right? Pray so Shall too. we wind up? Thank you All so right. Much. Yeah, so guys, ah, that was just a fun conversation to have, I promise. I don't think I've laughed in a while. If these conversations are just making me happy, but as always, I want to know what your take home is from today's conversation and also to just be Usi, usi give up on uyo mtu mwenye unaona. You look at the potential. Sometimes I know it's a long shot, but just look at the potential and see is there anything here. Kuna vision hapa, and if there is, then there's no harm in building together. But as I always say, you gotta protect what you've built together. So let me know on the comment section what your take home is. And again, a call to action to anyone that is watching from the Teacher Service Commission. Susan's numbers are right here on the screen. Screen. For honestly, if you are able to help them, then my job in this interview today will have been done and go show them some love on their YouTube channel. Thank you for always being incredible consumers of our work. I don't take it for granted. And also to our amazing partners that always come through because this episode, sometimes you watch them, but there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. We need a lot of finances to make things happen. So for us, when we get to partner with incredible people such as Kings Developers Limited, it's always an honor to remind you. They are a real estate company that are taking care of your needs. If you are looking into getting a home, getting an apartment of your own, why don't you pay them a visit at Prism Towers? They will cater to you whether you are looking for an affordable house, unataka high end. You know them for Prism Towers and great buildings such as Apollo, Sifa, and now they just launched, they did a groundbreaking for Orchid. They have also beautiful apartments in King Sapphire that is in Nakuru and also to Lienda Serenity here in Rongai and they also have a beautiful project coming up, King's Courtyard. Why don't you pay them a visit and let me know what you think about them. How about I see you tomorrow guys at 10 a.m. My name is Lynn Gugi. I don't get to do this alone. Asante Sana Edgar, Scholar and Muga Sam and Kelvin for always compiling these episodes making sure they reach you guys right on on time. The year is coming to an end. Get our 700k subscribers before we get there. Till tomorrow at 10am. Bye-bye.